2020 has been a tad bit stressful, hasn't it? Mm. Now imagine you're pregnant during bushfires, intense heat waves, toxic smoke, flooding, hailstorms, and of course, COVID-19. Stresses experienced during pregnancy can have irreversible negative health impacts. Researchers like myself also know that the impact of these stresses can vary based on the trimester of exposure. For example, a study following individuals born around the time of the Dutch famine in the 1940s found that those whose mothers were in early gestation during the famine had a higher risk of coronary heart disease, neurological defects and obesity. Now stresses during pregnancy can occur across any stressful environment. And this year has given us an overlap of many. My research, however, specifically focuses on the impact natural disasters can have on a pregnancy by looking at the experiences of women pregnant during cyclone events in Queensland, Australia. Australia seasonally sees about 11 cyclones a year. Four of these typically make landfall it only takes one to cause a disaster event. So I want to know what can we do to help pregnant mothers and their unborn babies weather the storm? I ask, what are the potential consequences and what can researchers like myself do to help? Cyclones have a measurable duration and impact, allowing me to conduct an ethical natural experiment with communities that have been exposed to stresses coming from a natural phenomenon. I statistically analyze a population's pregnancy outcomes using hospital records and I've been able to support a 20% increase in preterm births occurring after Cyclone Yasi in 2011. But hospital records tell me nothing about the individual experiences. Two mothers can experience the exact same event very differently. I've been able to show this by speaking to Queensland mothers themselves about what increases or decreases their level of stress when pregnant during a cyclone event. My work paints a vivid picture that allows disaster risk managers and healthcare professionals to make smarter decisions. After a year like 2020, we really don't know what else is to come and we need to help pregnant mothers and their unborn babies weather the womb.